Bob Babbitt here with Thomas Ranga, who finished second today at Challenge Denmark. This has to be a huge breakthrough race for you because you're, you're an Olympic format guy and coming here and taking second behind Dirk Bockel in front of a Martin Jensen and, and guys like that. How, how big is this for you? It's just <clears throat> really incredible and I, I didn't dare to believe I could do this before today. Um, they're such amazing and uh, experienced guys. Yes. Um, so, yeah, it was far above my expectations. When we saw you come out of the water with those guys, that was step one. That was great. And then how long were you able to stay with the, you know, you had Dirk Bockel and, and Martin, who are powerhouses on the bike? And usually, if someone's coming from ITU, they don't consider them that strong a, a cyclist. But you were, you were right there. Yeah, well, I kept up with them for the first uh, 30K. Uh, but then they got a bit of, too big of a gap, and I had to go uh, almost all out um, for 30k <coughs> to keep up with them uh, and try to close the gap. But I didn't exactly manage to close it all the way, and at around 60, 65k, I lost them. Take us through the run. You you ended up in second. Uh, where'd you come off the bike, and um, did you feel like you could catch Dirk Bockel at some point? Um, I came off the bike uh, just behind Henrik Hüllelund. Okay. Um, it was around a minute and a half, two minutes yeah. behind Martin and Dirk Bagel. Um, yeah, and I, I knew I could, I would run better than uh, Henrik. Um, and I thought that I wouldn't be able to catch those two guys, but I kept my cool and just wanted to stick to my pace, and that went uh, pretty well. And then I got uh, the confirmation that Martin was done. Um, and running really slow, so that, um, yeah, that uh, made me in a good yeah. mood. <clears throat> but then uh, the guy, Markus uh, Fakbak, yes. who came third, uh, caught me at around 7k. Um, yeah, uh, but every time we hit the um, aid stations, uh, he lost around 5 meters. So I, a couple of times I tried to make a break, but he caught me again. And then he tried to make a breaks, uh, a lot of breaks, small breaks, uh, but I kept right behind him. Um, but when we hit, yeah, was what was, was uh, 13k around yeah, yeah. that. I just went for it, just one more time after the aid station, and he couldn't keep up. So, and that was all out from there. <laughs> <laughs> You're, so you weren't thinking about catching Dirk Bockel, You were thinking about the guy behind you. Uh, yeah, definitely. I just. Uh, told all uh, the Danish guys who uh, gave me times that tell me how far <laughs> I'm in front of him. Yes. Um, it wasn't until 2k left that I realized that Dirk was uh, under one minute in front of me. Yeah. Uh, but I was just so tired, so I could only think of the second place. Being from Denmark and coming in second in this race in front of the home crowd, what, what's the feeling? It's so incredible. Um, well, even better to do it here than uh, internationally, where nobody knows me. Uh, yeah, I know a lot of guys uh, in the Danish uh, triathlon environment, so I had uh, guys who cheered for me all the way around the course. That was incredible, an incredible feeling. Rest of your season? What, what's happening rest of the season? Well, it's mostly uh, focused on the short distance Olympic format, uh, which I'm used to, but I will do another... Um, international uh, half distance in September around that. Love it. Congratulations, Thomas. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thomas Tronga, second place today at Challenge Denmark.